Welcome and thank you very much for joining us. So, yeah. Outer knocked out and your nose is bloody tonight. <laughs> I think it's a setback. Um, disappointed with that, but uh, it doesn't mean to say that the challenge is over. So what is your strategy now? Does this go to appeal? Well, we're contemplating that. We're going to look at the judgment and um, look at all the options open to us. But the reality, Wayne Duvenage, is you can't afford an appeal, can you? You already owe a king's ransom yeah. in court costs. Yeah, look, we're going to have to uh, take that into account, obviously. So if the appeal doesn't go ahead, is there any other avenue left to outer, or do we now, as South Africans, have to accept the fact that e-tolling is a fait accompli? Well, it could be a fait accompli for a temporary period if they force the issue. The, the real issue here is that society does not accept it. Um, we have seen around the world tolling systems do not get off the ground when it does not have the backing and the participation of the public. And that's a reality here. Um, we are worried now that the civil disobedience, the taking the matter to the streets, is going to become an issue. And, uh, and that's the stuff that impacts on credit ratings and, and our um, economy, Jeremy. So there's a serious issue there. But the other approach, predictably, mm -hmm. is civil disobedience. W would mm -hmm. Outer support that? Would you encourage people not to buy e-tags? Would you encourage people not to pay their accounts? Well, we encourage people not to buy e-tags because legally you don't have to buy e-tags. And the more people that don't buy e-tags, the more the system becomes unmanageable and ungovernable. We're not saying that people should break the law in any way. So passive resistance is, is an option. Um, Kasatu's legal strikes and legal marches and legal go-slows are, 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 are options as well. You would support that as an organization at this point, uh, given that there are very few avenues open to you now? Personally, I do. I have and I'll uh, continue mm. to do so, yeah. Just in terms of your strategy, there's been some suggestions that your strategy was wrong going forward with this court case with this non-consultation approach. Maybe there was a better way of doing it. Uh, with hindsight, yeah. Is, is, yeah, that, look, is that observation correct? Um, one can, with hindsight, uh, look at many um, avenues that could have been taken or should have been taken. We believe this was the best strategy. We still believe that consultation has been uh, um, largely lacking to the extent that it should have been applied constitutionally. So we think that that... Uh, that judgment is, is flawed uh, somewhat in that respect. Uh, but, but yes, there are um, other avenues. Now remember, the first person that's taken to court for not paying and, 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 uh, and has avenues open to them, and there are precedents already set, you need one successful case and the House, house of Cards comes uh, tumbling down. So it's not over by a long way. How are you going to settle this bill? Well, we're going to have to um, contemplate that journey out there. I think it's, um, we'll see what happens, mm. I'm not sure. But at this stage, no plan, and you can confirm it's something around 30 million rand. We're not sure. You know, there's tariff uh, 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 rates that apply. It's not the full costs. Um, we'll have to go and pack that. Whether we, whether we contest just the court's order, or the, sorry, the costs order is, is an option to us as well. Look, there are many cases in the past where public cases like this um, are taken and, and the costs are not ordered. Uh, and, and again, what's, what's such a blow to society is this cost order because now it's, it sets a precedent for, for public um, engagement groups to actually think twice before they challenge government in court, and that's not good for society. All right, final question. You saw in that report a, a very triumphant uh, chief executive mm. of Sanral, Nazir Ali, uh, obviously welcoming this. Mm -hmm. Would you still have doubts about Sanral's capacity and ability to switch on the system yes. soon? Yes, we do. We've been saying that for some time. 19 months has passed since they first uh, were indicated to, to, to toll in, uh, in April last year. They're still not ready right now. They were given the go-ahead. They said they could launch within two weeks. They can't launch now. We believe that their systems are flawed. This is too cumbersome. It's too onerous. It is too inefficient. And, and I think they're going to have serious problems in making this work properly. Thank you very much. Uh, Kasatu's view on this issue at uh, 7.30 tonight here on Newsnight. That's Wayne Duvenage from Outer.